Hence, the Southern Allied Democratic Chapter um, that the Horrible Terror Act of Thank you for the introduction. My name is Uluwa Shegunwakiemi. It's a Nigerian name. <laughs> I have no disclosures. The implementation of the Affordable Care Act has allowed states to expand Medicaid coverage to individuals earning up to 138% of the federal poverty line. And in California, the policy has expanded healthcare coverage to more than 7 million individuals since it was implemented. The, this same policy implementation has led to a dramatic drop in the uninsured rate in the state compared to the previous year period. The uninsured rate was 18.1%. Presently, the uninsured rate is less than 7.1%. However, the question has always been, has the expansion of Medicaid eligibility, expansion of healthcare access led to demonstrable, measurable outcomes? Has it led to improvement in outcomes? The literature is mixed. However, at Howard University, we have been able to demonstrate significant impact of the uh, implementation of the policy on some selected cancers like prostate cancer, lung cancer, breast cancer, and so on. However, the impact of the policy on diseases like thyroid cancer, which lack any screening guideline, and which usually can be referred to as having favorable prognosis, remains debatable in the literature. So the objective of our study is to determine if Medicaid expansion in California has significantly affected disease stage at presentation. So we did this by conducting a retrospective study. We used the CA Cancer Registry and have two timelines. The first is the pre-implementation timeline, which we define as a time between 2009 to 2013, and the post-implementation period defined as 2016 to 2020. We included a two-year washout period from 2014 to 2015. This was to allow the policy to become fully operationalized. So we utilized the difference in difference analysis uh, methodology with multinomial logistic regression to compare disease stage at presentation between the two states. At the inception of the study, there were more than 60,000 individuals with thyroid cancers. They were predominantly female uh, with a median age of 51 years. We noticed a drop in the proportion of people utilizing, uh, seeking care for thyroid cancer who are self-report as black or white. But we also noticed a concomitant increase in the Hispanic population. This pattern was seen across the two states, and there was no significant difference between um, two states in terms of this. We went ahead to conduct the univariate analysis where we compare the disease stage at presentation divided into localized disease stage, uh, regional metastasis, and distant metastasis between the two states. And we found out that there was a drop in um, localized disease presentation. It was a marginal drop that was not statistically significant drop in localized disease presentation and in distant disease presentation, but an increase in regional disease presentation. This pattern was seen across the two states and there was uh, not significant difference. We went ahead to conduct our multinomial logistic regression accounting for patient baseline characteristics and predicting the predicted probability of individuals presenting to the hospital on account of thyroid cancer at different stage of the disease. You can see the blue line, the blue color represents the localized disease, the green represents regional disease, and the distant represents the um, distant metastatic disease. And mirroring the pattern we found with our univariate analysis, there was a drop in localized disease presentation, distant disease presentation, an increase in 
um, regional disease presentation. However, these differences were not significant. So we went ahead to finally conduct the difference in difference and, um, method uh, analysis. So the difference in difference method compares the change in California to the change in Texas. Such, for example, you compare the proportion of individuals presenting at a particular level of disease stage in California before the ACA, after the ACA, we do the same thing for Texas and compare these two together. We did not find any substantive difference between the two uh, states. Showing in conclusion that there was no significant difference between Texas and California, despite California implementing the policy in 2014 among individuals presenting with thyroid cancer disease. Thank you. I'll be happy to answer your questions. I'm not sure I understand that question. Let me start from the second one. Yes. Why we didn't find a difference actually will actually be as a result of the choice of disease that we chose. And the reason why we did that was because we have demonstrated significant impact of the disease on some selected cancers. So our hypothesis was let's try this with all the diseases. So when we were starting with thyroid cancer, we know that thyroid cancer may not be a very good candidate to show the impact of the Affordable Care Act. But we just felt we just cannot be putting out studies that shows Affordable Care Act is having significant impact without, and then kind of leaving some cancers where you know that you might not find an impact. So it may not be a good candidate for selling affordable implementation of the policy. So the first question, I'm not sure I heard that clearly. Yeah, the first question is what I want to come on. Yes, I, I believe that we we, we've actually done, we did some studies where we compared different states. We chose California and Texas because we feel that these are the two largest states in the US with significant Hispanic population very similar, non-Hispanic white population very similar, but very different black population. So I, I believe that may also account for what our finding has been. Yes, we already we have some studies that we're conducting presently. We have where we compare Louisiana to Georgia, Florida to states. So we, we are doing this across different states. We believe that by that we will be able to actually validate some of our results. No, and the reason was because that was a limitation of our study it was because we used the CF cancer registry and we are not able to do uh, those kind of uh, adjustments or analysis. Thank you. Thank you very much.